So obviously you know the words Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. But do you also know where these words come from and why do you say them the way you do? In today's Diving Into English video, we will find out the true meaning behind the names for weekdays. So in general, the English days of the week are named after celestial bodies or mythological figures. But there is a fascinating history going back thousands of years into how how these words actually came about and how they are actually connected with other languages and other cultures. So join me on this journey into the solar system and let's go. So we are actually starting with Sunday because that's the original first day of the week. And of course the first day of the week was named after the sun, the source of everything that is alive. That's dies solis in Latin. And later it becomes sunondagas in Old Germanic. And in this context it's really easy to see how the word Sunday came about. Now the word Monday is not so obvious as the previous word Sunday. The word Monday actually refers to the moon. So in Latin for example it's dies lune becoming monandag or mondag in Old English and ending up to be the word that we know today Monday. To show you how this word looks like in other languages it actually follows the same logic. It's lundi in French for example and the moon in French is la lune or lunes in Spanish for example. So the logic actually prevails, it's the same in all languages. So we have the first two days down, it's the Sunday related to the sun and the moon day, the Monday as we know it. The word Tuesday is not so obvious and it's not related to any celestial bodies it's actually related to mythological figures, more specifically the god of war. And even though most of the names of the weekdays retain their association with Roman gods, the name for Tuesday actually relates to the Germanic god of war, Tiu. So if we compare languages a little bit, then in Latin, the god of war is Mars, as you might know. So in Latin, Tuesday would be Dies Martis. And that's the reason why in French and Spanish and Italian we have very similar words for the word Tuesday. For example, in French it's Mardi, in Spanish it's Martes, and so forth. But as I was saying, the word Tuesday actually goes back to the Germanic god of war, who was Tu. So we will have the word Tuesday, which eventually becomes the word that we use and know today, Tuesday. So the word Wednesday has a very similar logic and instead of retaining the association with the Roman gods, it actually refers to a Germanic god instead. So in Latin for example, we have the word dies mercuri that derives from the Roman god Mercury. But the English word Wednesday actually derives from the Germanic god Woden, so we have something that is called the Woden's Day, which eventually becomes Wednesday. So Jupiter, also known as Jove, is the supreme Roman god and patron of the Roman state. For example, he is the god that created thunder and lightning. And that might ring a bell for you at the moment because you know this god by the name of Thor. And indeed, Thor is the Norse god for thunder and we often see him driving through the skies in his chariot. So even though the Latin name for Thursday is Dies Jovis, that relates to Jupiter or Jove, in English we actually have a word that relates to the Nordic god Thor. And therefore we have Thursday. So Venus is the Roman god for love and beauty, and in Latin her day was known as Dies Veneris. And that's the reason why in Romance languages we see words like Vendredi in French, or Venerdi in Italian, or Viernes in Spanish. They all relate to the Roman god Venus. 
but with the English word we have a different association. It actually refers to Frigg, the Norse goddess of love and the heavens and possibly also Freya, the goddess of love and beauty. So in Germanic languages we have Freya Dagas, which eventually becomes Friday. And we end with an easy one. Now, as you saw with many of those names for weekdays that we analyzed previously, in most cases, English is actually related to the old Germanic versions or gods or, you know, celestial bodies. But the word Saturday still retains its Latin sources. And more specifically, it's related to Saturn who is the Roman god for agriculture. So in Latin we have Dies Saturni, and from there it's not a very long journey to arrive to the word that we know and use today. Saturday. Even though we use the names for weekdays every single day, we usually don't think about where do they actually come from. I hope that this video was super interesting for you to understand that the language is something that is always progressing and it has a lot of amazing history. Until the next time.